We are jumping into Grounded again today. And where we left off last time, um, we were kind of just doing some resource collecting because I'm in need of a lot of stuff. Also, like, how's the game audio right now? Is it, like, overwhelming my, like, voice at all? I know when, like, the music picks up, it, like, <laughs> it's a little louder, obviously. So just uh, let me know if, it, if it's too loud for you, and I can definitely make adjustments. In the meantime, I'm going to bring up that list of materials that I made. Um... Okay, so we got the clay, we got the sprigs, mosquito beak, and antlion pincer that we needed. I still need to find some gum nuggets, some tough gunk, oh, which is the death of me, um, and then some boiling glands, which are from bombardier. I want to say that there are some bombardier right there. Okay, <laughs> ask and you shall receive. And I think Bombardier are weak to Axe on the booty? Yeah, I'll verify that too. Am I making that up? Bombardier, Bombardier. I need to stay hydrated. I hope you guys are staying hydrated too. Mm, oh, Andrew, you've been enjoying a knockoff Pokemon game. I'm curious, what's the name of the game? Hmm... It was really good. Was getting so distracted by everything to pick up you, the loot goblin? No. I <laughs> uh, got a text from your boss saying that she needed to talk to you. Uh, nothing bad, but uh, still a bit worried. I think it's really good that she like clarified that it's nothing bad because like I would be the same way. I would be like, oh no, what is this about? But the fact that she said that, I hope that um, will give you some some peace of mind. And audio uh, sounds good. Thank you, thank you, friends. I appreciate it. Also, day, welcome in, buddy. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. Apparently, the second game is more of its own thing. Interesting, Andrew. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of that. Might have to look it up sometime. All right, so they are week two chopping on the booty. All right, let's, uh, let's give them some choppy chops then. I know I saw one over here. There might be more, though. Maybe not. Sometimes the bombardiers hang out uh, with like two or three of them, and sometimes they don't. Ooh, don't fight me, please. I know I came over here and attacked you, but this is a one a one way street here. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, oh wait, did we not get any boiling glands there? Well, heck, I've got I've got two, and I need how many total? I need four total. All right. Hmm. Um. Still need to figure out about gum too. So I know that there's like some gum like underneath like the deck, like over here. And people have told me that I can potentially get it without like building up to it. But like, I, I feel like I've been struggling to do that, but I, I would be down to like try that again. But maybe we'll try to go and get the tough gunk uh, before we do that, since we're like so close by. So the tough gunk has been the bane of my existence. Um, you can get tough gunk from these things called ladybird larva. La ladybird? Lady ladybird larva. Ooh. Um, and we actually just recently came across them for the first time. They're in this area that's uh, pretty new to us, called the upper yard. Um, and like near this like charcoal grill. But the thing about the ladybird larva, or the ladyberg larva, as I'm apparently calling them, um, is they like only have like a small chance of dropping the tough gunk. And like, I, I've been able to get nine thus far, but like I had to leave last time because like I was just like out of, um, my armor was down, like, my weapons were down, like, everything was just, like, broken. Um, and I didn't have enough for the ten, uh, for, like, one weapon. So, if I want to make, like, the two weapons that are currently available to me, hello, big spider, uh, I'm gonna need twenty total, but <laughs> I, I, at this point, like, I'll just be lucky if we can get, like, <laughs> like, one more. Um, so maybe we'll focus on, you know, getting that full ten. So that we can make one weapon and then like come back here with that more powerful weapon if that makes sense. Is there another spider right down here? Gosh, there's so oh. many. 
can't see the other one that was like on this rock and that makes me nervous. Oh, never mind, I can. Cool. Phantom, thank you, thank you, friend. Smack the roof of the car. This is the snazziest stream you'll find on Twitch. <laughs> Thanks for all the great streams and always being a friend, Wady Frog. Oh, Phantom, thanks so much for the kind words. I really, really appreciate you. And thank you for the 32 months. Goodness gracious. And for using your Prime Gaming. You could have used that anywhere. Thanks for using it here. I appreciate you. Did I see something in Rochelle's stream, um, right, as I had to go uh, lurky turkey, you know, to come to the stream about, like, you, like, applying for some new jobs or something? I'm already hearing, um, some, some ladybird larvae. I'm already hearing them. I gotta remind myself, like, what they are weak to, if anything. I think the regular larvae aren't really, like, weak to a whole lot. Yeah. Um... So what about these ones? Infected ladybird larva. So they are weak to stabbing, so I can use my mosquito needle on them. Or uh, our crossbow. Just listening for the digging because they pop out from the ground. I would take this stuff in here, but I don't have any room. <laughs> um... Maybe we'll take those. Oh, and we got a friend. Where's the friend? Where's the friend? I hear the friend. There is the friend. Hello, friend. Good block. Also, I don't know if I put back on my charm. I need to check on that. I also... Just notice that uh, our food and our like water is like completely empty. I really need to fill that up. Cross and fingies for tough gunk. No surprise, we did not get any tough gunk. <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> uh, and luckily, I do have some food in here. Thank goodness. It's also like, a sip of our water. All right, on to the next one. Let's hope for some better luck. I hear one nearby. Also, hey, Sunny, welcome in. Thank you for the hydration. I'll uh, take a sip here in a moment, like my uh, character. I hope that you're having a good one. Oh, jeez. He is a vicious one. Ooh. Ooh. I felt like the other one was more tame. I was able to, like, block him a better... This one is just like, ooh, super bitey. Oh, oh. Come on. There we go. Tough gunk. Tough gunk. Did I pronounce it right? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. I hope you're having a good day. And uh, Rochelle, thanks for dropping that exclamation phantom in chat too. Also, Rochelle, I know you just had a big old shrimp stram. If you need to like step away, get you any noms, some drinks, anything like that, please make sure to do so, friend. And uh, hey, zombie, nice to see you. How are you? I hope you're having a good day too. So many ads for the new Avatar movie. Sunny, it's funny that you say that. I saw, uh, I saw an ad for it like... Uh, with something this morning, maybe like a YouTube video this or something like that. But uh, personally, I'm really excited for it. I know not everybody likes the Avatar movies, but like, I say movies, it's only been one thus far, but um, I quite enjoyed the first one, so I'm pretty excited for, uh, for this next one that's coming out next month. Where's my shovel? Uh, right here. Let's put you there, so we can dig up this sparkly. I saw a sparkly here a second ago. There it is. Ooh, we've got another chest here. Oh, not that I can probably take anything that's inside it, but that's beside the point. Um, oh, gum nuggets? Yes! Ooh, okay. I wonder if we can find another chest with a gum nugget in it. I just need one more. Um, I, I'll just like dump this stuff because like this is easy to get. 
Oh, but I did need the sprigs. I mean, we can also get those anywhere. So, I mean, I might end up dropping those again, but I did actually need those for um, something. <laughs> Can't remember exactly what it was, but. I think I'll leave that crow feather for now. So we can always come back to these and um, get the stuff out of it anytime, so. Mm. Oh, wait, you dropped a bag uh, when your inventory filled. Maybe uh, what you were looking was inside it. Did I really? I didn't even notice. All right, let's uh, kill this guy and then I'll go check. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, tough gong. Hello. Oh, wait. So was this also? Was, was there some tough gong over here that we dropped? I can't remember where it was that we were fighting that other one. So I might have, <gasps> there is a bag. It was tough gunk. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> Zombie, thank you for pointing that out to me. <laughs> okay, all right. So we have um, a little extra tough gunk now. Feels good, man, feels good. What was this that I dropped out? Wait, there's a tough gunk here too? Did they all drop tough gunk? Wow, okay. Well, um, maybe I will be able to get that, um, those 20 tough gunk after all, maybe. Like, I don't want to push it, but I feel like we're kind of on a roll right now. <laughs> Let's also take another At sip of water. Clean. Ish. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I love the first film, but now the dam is broken. The trailers are ads galore. I definitely feel it. And I think they're like even putting the first film like back in theaters now too. Also, uh, Luna James, welcome in. I'm doing well, thanks. How about you? I hope you're great. <laughs> Woohoo! This is why I wear glasses. I'm glad that you guys uh, are a second pair of eyes for me because um, right now, like I've noticed today, like my contacts feel like really like dry for some reason, like drier than usual. Might need to like switch them out for another pair. Um, but like, I feel like when they are like drier and stickier, it's like harder for me to like spot those little details so thank you thank you for uh looking out for your old pal weighty i was just hanging out in the uh, hot springs over here a little bit so we could replenish a little more health it's like really slow going but it does help a little bit was there something else to dig up here it is is it gum nugget oh it's salt okay all right I was about to say we'll take the salt, but never mind. Um, I don't need a weeble nose. Oh, <gasps> we've got a scarab. It's a scarab. It's a scarab. Oh, oh. Or a shield bug, whatever you want to call it. Oh, where did it go? Oh. Let me scan it. Let me scan it. Have I gotten it before? I don't think I have. I can't even equip my crossbow because um, my inventory is so full. Let's like drop those. I was pretty sure that I hadn't uh, scanned it before, but. Oh, 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 where are you going? No, 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 no. Oh, gosh darn it. Oh, they're so speedy. Big sad. It's gotta be a little more on my toes. Oh, and Dave, thank you for the repost, buddy. Uh, doing good, glad to hear it. I'm doing well, doing well, thanks for asking. A little like on the tired side because um, my body decided to wake I'm up sizzling. at like 6 a.m. this morning and it was like, yep, nope, now that we're awake, we're not going back to sleep. But other than that, doing well. <laughs> also, hey, guess what? I played some of, oh, did you play some of my time at Porsche? Oh, Dave, I'm so, 
I'm so proud. How, uh, how far did you get in the game? What are your thoughts? If like it wasn't your favorite game, like I swear we can still be friends, possibly, maybe. <laughs> Doing great too, glad to hear it. By the way, do you like to go by Luna or James? And weekend was good, thanks for asking. Yeah, it was like pretty busy, but uh, but definitely good, definitely good. Got some uh, precious time with loved ones. And uh, also got like a good bit done at home. So it was productive too. And some errands before the holidays coming up. Oh, out of stamina. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. I cannot get my blocks down. All right, no tough gun from that one. <laughs> If we did, I kind of would have been surprised because, like, we were, like, on a roll there. Heard another one. Sometimes you can see them if you, like, uh, you can, like, find, like, some uh, dirt kind of, like, being, uh, pushed up in the air since they're underground. Best way I can describe it. Oh! 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 I didn't know it was gonna be a three hit. <gasps> Two? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. All right. I'm going to run. <laughs> I am going to die. Do 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 do. Is this the one that I have been attacking? Because I might... Yeah, it is. Alright, we can get him. We can get him. He almost killed me. And we did get a tough gun from it. Nice. Okay. Alright. I'm not going to push my luck uh, anymore. We'll come back and get some more. Soon TM. I... It would have been really nice if we did find one more... A uh, gum nugget, though. Because I do only need one more. So that is really tempting. I have my dandelion on. I just wanted to make sure. Luna, it is. Luna, it's nice to meet you. Uh, where you live, we call those June bugs. Because uh, they show up in June. Oh, that makes sense. June bug has a nice ring to it. Except for the bug part. I don't like bugs. <laughs> Oh, I think that's like a stink bug. Just registered your workshop and called it Davies DIY. I like it. Uh, kind of dig it to be honest. Early days, uh, but seems cool. I'm glad that you're liking it so far. It uh, it's definitely like a, a longer game that you can put a lot of hours into. Um, but I just I love the adventure and um, yeah, it's good that you're getting into it now uh, for Sandrock in the future. So I think from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my gas mask and we'll also put on this too. And I'm going to head over to here just to see if I can like try to get that gum nugget again. That was like underneath the deck. And I feel like I've like struggled with it before, but here's an idea too. Like maybe I could... Um, bring stuff with me to make like a staircase. So I know that there's no like uh, grass over there. It's just like dead grass. So like maybe I could bring some grass planks with me perhaps. Um, four planks and one weed stem. Luckily that it totals five and that's exactly the amount that I can carry. I just need to, I was about to say, find a weed stem. There's actually one right over here. Perfect. Back from the call with your boss. Rochelle, I hope that everything went okay, friend. 
Mm, one of the higher ups from the team is leaving. Definitely uh, um, nothing we expected to happen as we thought he'd retire with the company. Wow, Rochelle. Oh goodness, was this uh, someone that like you guys um, enjoyed having there? Hope that uh, everything's okay with them. Not, like maybe leaving on good terms, hopefully. Or they'll be, you know, happier, like, wherever else they go. Alright, so we are taking all of those and then going toward my marker. Hopefully run into no buggies. I could have, like, taken another one of those, um, but let me just put these down so I can. Just so we can, uh, be safe and have a bandage going on us. I need to, like, eat my other, like, food, too. It's gonna, like, spoil if I don't, for one. <laughs> Alright, let me put this down one more time. <laughs> and then we'll consume this. Hmm. Maybe I'll go ahead and, uh, drink a, another sip I of mean, water, too. Alright. Now we're ready to go. Cool. Do you have any gunk that is less tough? I think tough gunk is the only gunk that we have, thankfully. Another kitchen miniature finished? Oh, Soli, I bet it's so precious. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Wait, Dave, you, you picked up this chick, a literal chick, I was about to say. <laughs> and his his little fellow animal friends. Wait, was it at, like, um, Emily's farm? Where Grandma Sophie lives? I need to make sure that I'm going, like, in the right direction, too. Because um, we are heading toward, like, the haze. Just need to make sure that I'm not, like be running into like we're uh like the gulches like that one there there's a lot of dead ants around here I'm surprised that it was actually able to pick those up Mm, here's something that really protected our positions and had started our team originally. Oh, Rochelle, I gotcha. So it sounds like some good memories there. Um, I, uh, I'm glad, you know, you know, it wasn't anything, um, you know, like bad news, like, you know, toward you guys or anything like that with the news. <laughs> I don't know, I just yoinked it. Did you steal the chicken, Dave? Is it living on, on your, uh, workshop plot now? <laughs> All right, so, oh, I put uh, the marker, like, pretty much, like, right at it. Feels good, man. So this is the gum that I was talking about. And, yeah, like, when I try to jump up to it, oh, it does actually show the uh, symbol for it. But I don't know if I've been able to, like, time it very well before. So since we brought all this stuff, I'm not going to make it any further difficult for myself. But the problem is, oh, wait, it will put it up here. Ooh, I thought it was only going to put it in the rock. I was like, oh, no. Right, let me put the blueprint like here and see if that's good. Maybe like a little like further, just slightly. A little bit. Maybe like right there. I think that'll be good. Okay. And now we get out our handy dandy shovel. That's a lot easier. <laughs> How many pieces are we gonna get? Oh, oh. Do we only get one from it? Oh, that's that's cruddy. Light. Burn back the shadows. There's none that like dropped, right? I think it was just the one. Ooh. That's a shame. Okay, all right, well, um, but with that being said, you know, since we did find the the uh, gum in the chest before, I think we do have enough of that now. So I'm going to cross that off our list. 
I think the only thing we still need is a uh, few boiling glands. Let's see about making some stuff. So the fiber bandages, I think that does count as like a consumable. Do we only have nine plant fiber? I was gonna say we could probably make more, but I guess we're just making nine, which will bring me to 10. So I guess that's like fairly decent, but yeah, I thought we had more plant fiber. I would have grabbed more of that too. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, and then arrows. It was great. I'm really glad to hear it, Volta. Really glad to hear it, friend. That was a good weekend here too. Got a lot done. I feel like I typically do pretty well with um with like 40 arrows. That's like kind of like a comfortable number for me. So I I think I'm going to just make like another stack. We have the 20 and 20. Okay. Um, all right. We've got a big adventure ahead. My armor is like already not looking too hot. Like part of me like wants to just like go ahead and like upgrade this armor further, but like I also know like we're going to get other armor. And I just I don't you know know if I want to spend like our our more rare resources like on this. So maybe I'll just like bring the stuff to like repair these for now. Um, we would need silk rope, um, antlion parts. You know this one needs a pincer. Okay, all right. Um, but luckily we do have all of those things. So we'll take you, we'll take you, and we'll take you. Okay. Oh, my inventory's already looking like so full. I do not like this. I just noticed that we do have like some of these specialty arrows like on us um, right now. I, like, I guess I've picked up from different, like, storage chests and that kind of thing. Um. So, like, I, I could maybe, like, make some special arrows, possibly. Like, the salty one. We had, like, 11 of the feather arrows. So like if I wanted to make like salty arrows, we could make like one batch of those. Just you know, here's the problem. Like again, like it would pick up another slot. Maybe I could just make like a few more of this. Like again, I don't want to use like a whole lot of the crow feather pieces, but. I am tempted to make some of these. Let's grab some salt. Oh, I've only got two more salt too. Okay, well, um, I don't even know if that's gonna be enough. <laughs> it actually is. Um. Okay, so let's make um, some of these. And then I know I just made some arrows, but I might actually like put some of my regular arrows back now. Since we have 20 of the salt arrows, I feel like that's really gonna be beneficial to us with where we're going. Um, and can I now make the salt morning star? 
Oh, that's what the gum nuggets were for. I was like, what was I collecting those for again? <laughs> we'll take these out now. Definitely uh, don't want to leave without that. I went on a whole adventure to try to get the stuff for it. Salt Morning Star. Oh, beautiful. And uh, I definitely want to upgrade this puppy if we can before we go. So this is going to need brittle whetstone. Two of them for just one upgrade. So I wonder how many it would need for, like, to get to, like, five. That, like, I try to get to, it like, at least five. That's typically the point when it, like, switches to another material for upgrades. Was it brittle whetstone? I'm second guessing. It was Riddle Whetstone. Okay. Um, and you can actually make Riddle Whetstone now out of larva spikes and sap. Ooh, that's pretty nice. But I do have a lot of Riddle Quartzite shards too, so it's not a huge deal. Um, yeah, and I need to use those up. So let's just do this first can't remember exactly how many we're gonna need, so I'll just make 15 for now. I think we're gonna need 15 more. Perfect. So, this upgrades with the Mighty Globs. Okay. Y'all, I really want to do that. <laughs> I, I do want to upgrade this higher. So we would need four Mighty Globs to get to the next level. We might need even more uh, beyond that. Or it might be another material, it's hard to say. Okay, so for four more Mighty Globs, we're going to need eight sturdy whetstone. That I don't have a whole lot of. That's concerning. Yeah, I have enough to make 14. Ooh. That wouldn't leave me with a whole lot. I hope we'll be able to make the tier 3 hammer soon. I don't know if we've even unlocked the tier 3 hammer. I hope we unlock the tier 3 hammer <clears throat> and are able to make it soon. Because that would allow me to go back and break some of the rocks, like the tier 3 rocks, that I wasn't able to get before. But I really do want to make this. Okay, I'm doing it. Um, so, do that. And three more. And then, uh, Mighty Glob. We'll go ahead and make those. Okay. What time is it right now? 1943. Good year. Um, I don't know if I really want to go to sleep right now. I also feel like I should put away my mosquito needle. I don't think we're going to be using that a whole lot over there. Just to clear up some space. Um, should I repair my ant shield? Hmm. Black ant parts. Ooh, do I not have any black ant parts? Ooh, it doesn't look like I do. Okay, all right. I guess we won't be repairing our shield. <laughs> mm. MKT, welcome in. How are you? Where is your base? It looks so cool. Thank you. I have my base in the Pond Pagoda. Um, I actually uh, filmed a, a building video of it that's up on my YouTube. So anyone who's interested in checking that out, uh, you definitely care, can there. It was a lot of planning and material collecting and that kind of stuff that went into it. But I'm super pleased about how it turned out. But with that being said, I still want to uh, make a lot of adjustments and improvements to it already. <laughs> How long are those going to take on the oven? They're almost done. So yeah, we'll grab those before we go to sleep.
I was actually debating on if I wanted to go to sleep. I don't mind running there with it being night. Then I was about to say maybe by the time we get there it'll be time. Eh, no, we'll sleep. With us going in like the wood pile anyway, like I don't think light is gonna matter like as much. But speaking about light, do I have a torch? Maybe it depleted. So I don't think I see it in here. Okay, well, uh, let's see about making a torch. I'm really excited for when we'll be able to make the Everchar uh, torch here. But I don't uh, know how to make lint rope quite yet. So that's what we're waiting on there. Yeah, we'll just do another uh, torch plus for the meantime. Mm, Omni, welcome in. How are you? During Christmas holiday, your wallet is like an onion. Every time you crack it open, it makes you want to cry. That's a mood. <laughs> I'll check that out. Thank you. It looks so good. Thank you. Thank you, T. I really appreciate you. I hope that you're doing well, by the way. All right. These are almost done. I guess I could just grab them in the morning, like if we're going to sleep anyway. But it's like still like kind of early, so that's why I was like waiting. Yeah, we'll just sleep. It's all good. Oh, never mind. We can't sleep until three more seconds. Here we go. Yeah, I think right around now will probably be a good uh, time for us to leave out and uh, head on our journey. I'm excited. Okay, um... So we need to grab those mighty globs from over here. And then we'll go over here with our Selge Morning Star. And we will upgrade it to level six. So the next one is 10 mighty globs. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough materials for that quite yet. But, uh, so yeah, this will I think this will be very helpful. Oh cool. Okay. Um Let's make sure that that's here in my inventory. We have uh, water. Oh, let, uh, let's cook the aphid roast that we have. Almost wonder if we should like make another one. I do have like granola bars and stuff like that too, like that I, I really should like use up and bring with me. So yeah, well, maybe we'll bring the granola bars. Sticky slop is the smoothie that I'm looking at right now. Uh. Trickle regen and heals. Just in case we come across something big, um, we feel like we need this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring maybe a couple of them. Inventory so full. Oh, um, yeah, that that uh, game update that will upgrade our, our backpack further cannot come soon enough. I'm really looking forward to that. All right, we'll take the aphid roast, and let's uh, eat this roast. That is surprisingly not terrible. We'll drink some water. At least it's clean. Ish. And I think we're ready to go. I'm nervous. <laughs> we are going back toward the ascent. And uh, we should be good to explore a, a bit further this time. Take on some enemies, that kind of thing. But yeah. Let me also uh, take out my crossbow and make sure that it has the ammo selected that I want. So uh, in case we need that while we're over there, which I think we are going to need it, we'll have it. Imagine IRL your bed goes, nah, you two awake, can't sleep now. I mean, like, our beds might not uh, do that, but, like, definitely, like, my brain does that. 
like your body just feels so tired and your brain's just like oh but like remember like that one time like five years ago when you did like something real stupid and it's just like oh yeah and then you get on that train of thought <laughs> Yeah, at least it's clean-ish. <laughs> we take what we can get in this game. Huh. Hey, Clover, welcome in. How are you? Wait, did you make that house? I did. It uh, took quite a bit of some time, but um, I'm really pleased with how it came out. And I was saying earlier, I actually made a, uh, um, a build video of it on YouTube. So anybody who's interested in uh, seeing the process there and um, kind of some highlights of how it uh, ended up turning out. You can definitely check that out. I think I have a... Does, let's see. Does this still work? I was about to say, do I have YouTube on there? I would think I would have YouTube on there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and Rochelle, thank you so much, friend. I really appreciate you. <laughs> oh, you're perfect. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. I forgot that I have, like, a social button on my, uh... On my, uh... Stream deck. I was about to say Steam Deck. It's just like hard to like keep track of like all the all the decks now. Oh, Adpul scared me. I was worried that a uh, tree was going to be right here too. We'll just uh, swim it a bit so we can avoid the mosquitoes. Yeah, sadly, like on my uh, Steam Deck, I don't have like a button for like the individual ones. Just don't have room for it. I don't have, like, the smallest Steam Deck, but it's not the biggest either. I think it's got, uh, 15 buttons on it. I saw that they came out with a, a new Stream Deck, uh, recently, too. Where it has, um, like, the, like, the audio, uh, like, knobs on it. I think Nick told me about that. Looked pretty cool. Almost there. Oh. I didn't take uh, quite as long as I remembered to uh, to get over here. I actually don't need a uh, bombardier right now, so we're going to run past them. Oh, didn't mean to go under. And I brought a brought, uh, brought burst with me too. Like I don't know if we're gonna need the brought burst, but um. Yeah, just in case. Kind of like the smoothie situation. Alright, we have made it back to the upper yard scent. And I do have a lean-to over here. I might actually end up like moving the lean-to. Like further back. So that, you know, if we die, we don't have to like run like all the way back to that corner. Like, I couldn't make another lean to. Ew. Should have brought some stuff with me. There might be some stuff up here, but what do I need? Um, lean to, lean to, lean to. Clover and Sprig. Mm. That a roly poly. Don't think I'm uh, quite ready to take those on yet. Even the sickly one was like really strong. All right, we have sprigs. Are there clovers? Like we just came up the ascent, so we could go back down. Oh, I do see some. I do see some. Cool. Won't have to go back down. Feels good, man. Oh, jeez, you scared the dickens out of me. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I didn't know the ladybirds could spawn, like, all the way over here. That's good to know for the future. Like, I need some more tough gunk, which I will. Oh, I hate how he already, like, knocked out some of my health. I was, like, trying to hang on to my fiber bandages. Okay. 
I think that should be good for the uh, lean-to, right? Yeah, we're good. All right, cool. Okay, so let's uh, start heading toward the woodpile, my friends. I'm nervous. We are uh, basically trying to get to like the top of the tarp so that we can find that missing burgle chip. I see at the top of the tarp, it actually might be in the wood pile. There's two spiders sleeping in there. At least they're sleeping, so like that's good. Well, there's uh, something shiny here that we can dig up too. Ooh, another chest. What do we have in here? Oh, that's interesting. It immediately, like, took out the things from the chest. When we found those before, um, it, like, lets us, like, open up the chest. And, like, it stays there. Like, that one over there. I wonder if that's because, like, our inventory was really full before. Like, maybe since, like, now we have room, it just, like, auto-put it in there. I kind of wish it let us, like, have the option of taking it or not. Because my... I'm still trying to really conserve that storage space oh. or inventory space rather I think I've jumped that before but I, I don't know if I want to risk it right now <laughs> You know what I should have done? <sighs> I thought about it. But I don't want to go back at this point. Um, I was going to say, I should have um, at least set my respawn point for the lean-to that I have over there. So I was thinking of setting up the, the new lean-to, like, higher up, um, like, in the wood pile. But I guess we could um, just put it at like the base of the wood pile. Anything closer would be more helpful. <sighs> Almost there. She's like, are we there yet? Please. All right. Oh, here we are, my friends. We made it. The big old wood pile. So intimidating. <laughs> oh, 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 and we've already got friends? Oh, yeah, we've already got friends. I don't know if I want to, like, deal with you friends. Um, But, I mean, like, he is, like, by himself, too. So, I mean, like, that might be a good one to get. And I haven't, like, you know, tried out my Salt Morning Star yet. Oh. oh, he's stunned. Yeah, get him. Get him. That was nice. Termite chompers and termite parts. Oh, we got like a, a good amount of uh, parts from just that one alone. I'm kind of surprised. I should have like taken on one before. I think that way we could have made like the upgraded like lantern or something like that. I just, I just want to make my lean too. Really need to do that. I don't think it'll let me though. Yeah, since this guy is like trying to engage in combat with me. I mean, but we did well last time. Oh, how did you hit me from over there? What? Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Done. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's uh definitely use one of those bandages now. I was hoping I could get a little closer. This one looks so small. Oh, it it's different. Taking a look at the new. Oh, 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 oh. Oh wait, that's a termite worker? He says just termite. Interesting. 
Felt a little bad about that. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, let's see if I'm making that lean to. Before I die. Build. Set respawn. There we go. Okay. So let's, uh... I know this guy's on me. But I feel like they're just gonna keep coming out. So I kind of feel like we should just go... Excuse me. Pardon me. Why don't I go ahead and uh, get out my light too? Let me can scan this. Um, yeah, let's do that. What do we have lurking around out here? So much. Oh, it's a rock. I want to get the rock. Oh, but there's like so much following me. Oh, maybe if I can like get him alone. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow, that hurt. No, no. Bad termite. Oh. At least it's a little guy. Scientists make this guy. I definitely want to get this here. There's a lot of those like splinters or whatever they are like uh, sticking out here. Yeah, splinters. But we need a tier three axe for those. We've seen them in a. Um, couple other locations like here and there but yeah understandably there's a lot in the wood pile <laughs> all right just need to try to do some parkour here emphasis on try i'm looking around because um again going back to the early access days i want to say that there is like something like Kind of tucked away in one of these like corners or crevices. I see a, a marble up here that I definitely want to get. Uh, oh Cam, do we have a frog of the day? I'm excited to uh, see it later. <laughs> one of your faves. Ooh. Uh, also, and featuring the desert rain frog. I feel like desert and rain. Or it's kind of like a, what would you call it? Like an oxymoron? Not seeing anything here. I'm glad that we came up here. Uh, that marble was good to get. I think we're going to have to be careful up here too, because I think we're going to start running into um, like mosquitoes. In which case, I should probably save my arrows. Um, maybe down here or over there? Let's check out down here. Oh, also like don't want to get stuck either. Maybe I went too far. Hmm. You can get on uh the um the what would you call it like the shed platform from here? That's good to know. Oh, and we do have some stuff tucked away here too, so let's get this. Yeah, I didn't find like exactly what I was looking for. So I'll have to uh try to find that. A bit. Does this... Is there anything down here? I want to check. Kind of like a weird corner, you know? Hmm. I'm surprised that there's, like, nothing down here. Weird. Okay. Alright, well, uh, let's go back over this way, then. And then we'll go up here. Probably put back on my uh, my crossbow. Ooh. Taking a look around. Ooh. How do we get there? I want that.
I think this is kind of like the direction that we came from. So let's uh, kind of head up, I suppose. Let me just check this one corner. <laughs> I know I said we were heading up, but <laughs> all right, going this way. I think I need to get on this limb, jump over this nail, go under this one. All right, okay. Yeah, I'm already seeing the mosquito friends. I think I'm gonna like try to take on this one. Yeah, he's, I was about to say like before he like aggros his friends. Oh. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. One more. Oh, goodness. I was trying to get him before uh, he hit me there. Ugh. Is my inventory already full? No. Oh. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Well, um, I don't think I need acid glands. I think we'll, um, trash those. I think I have a bunch of those at home. Mosquito beak. I really don't know if I need a beak either, so we might end up dropping that too. What is the beak used for? Yeah, just the mosquito needle, but I already have a mosquito needle, so I don't think it's used for the repair. Let's get that one too. I hope it's just him aggroed. Oh, it's a spiderling. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, where did he go? I thought he was coming this way. Okay. <laughs> you like seemed like he was coming this way and then he just didn't. Is he like stuck behind the- yeah that's what it was. I was like what's going on here? Well... Oh I so wish that you could block with a crossbow. Be divine. Oh, oh. Okay all right run. Health is not good. I might need to use one of my heal bosses. <laughs> Nothing like a little science, as I always say. Oh. Anything over in this corner? Not that I'm seeing here. Okay. Oh, can I was about to say, can he jump all the way up here? I would have been surprised. All right, let's uh, so drink some water. Let's also go ahead and eat some food too. That'll help with our storage at, or our Pretty inventory good. a tiny bit. <laughs> all right. I think we got most of the mosquitoes. Most of them, at least. I noticed we can go under here, but yeah, there's also um, a bunch of spider webs, so that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> let's uh, let, let's save, shall we? I don't think we've like saved once today in our stream. My goodness. Uh, desert rain frog, because they are desert frogs. They burrow under the sand to stay cool, pop up to absorb water when it rains. Oh, that makes sense. You'd probably have to uh, live like under the sand, like in that case. Otherwise, just like burn up. There's so much stuff here. Oh my gosh. I heard that mosquito scared the bejesus out of me. He can't get me in here, right? Right? Underneath the tarp. That is good to know that there is a, another um, mosquito that we'll have to get. If we had come here at um, nighttime. Well, I was about to say, if we'd come here at nighttime, the spider probably would have been here. But um, no, then it probably would have been awake and out and about. So I'm not sure. But anyway, we got a lot of good stuff here. It feels good, man. Okay. All right. It was scary. But I think worth it. Hopefully. Okay. 
And luckily, um, a lot of our health has um, restored itself. I just really wish that I brought like, um... ooh, speaking of spider, he's like stuck in the tarp right there. I wish I had brought stuff to like make another lean to up here. Here, that mosquito, I just don't see it. There it is. Oh. I'm just like trying to like go ahead and like aggro them before like they like lure all their friends in. One more hit, come on. There we go. Try to get back all of my arrows too because I've definitely been losing some of them. Shooting here and there and everywhere. Right, we've got eight uh, regular arrows uh, right now. So we've lost like 12 of them, but I still do have those, um, those other arrows that I made, the salty ones. Oh, and we have some hot cha chas here. We have officially made it on top of the tarp. There's another uh, descent right over there. Oh, just need to watch out for that big spider. Mm, Momo, nice to see you. How are you? Oh, I think we lost that up. Hot cha chas. Welcome, welcome in, friend. It's good to have you here. Rochelle, thanks for dropping that exclamation pumpkin in chat for our friend Momo. Uh, while this game makes you retrieve arrows, it does. Luckily, like, it auto picks them up, like, as you walk over them. Um, I think, I think it does. Wood pile entrance, but, but yeah, if you don't, like, uh, go and get them, then you have to, like, make some more. The basic arrows are pretty easy to make, but um, the specialty arrows, those can be um, trickier for sure. So I, I, we need to go in there, but we also have not gone over here. There's another mosquito. Two mosquitoes, gosh. But I think we're gonna have to go under for the chip. So maybe we'll just go under first and then come back up here, maybe. Let me do another save. So nervous. <laughs> oh, uh, tired but doing well. I bet you are. You've just been like working so hard, Momo, and been like such a good mama. I hope that your little pumpkin's doing okay. Right, let's uh, get out our salt morning star again and just this. Give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. With the light, you know, it's like so nice. It like helps you see like right around you, but then I feel like everything like remotely far away just looks super hazy. I hear the spider and I don't like it. Please tell me it's gonna stay up there. Please don't come in this hole. I got enough to deal with down here. Uh, creative time is done. So gaming along with you, oh Soli. I hope that that you had fun with the dollhouse stuff. But uh, what game do you think you'll play? Oh my gosh, there's so there's so many termites. Oh, oh, okay, all right. I'm just I'm just going around and exploring. Oh, there's there's a way this way. I don't know which way we should go. Oh. There's another rock here. I don't dare take it at the moment. Damn it, it's down. Oh! You know what I should have done? I should have. Oh, we're going far away. I should have marked where the burgle chip is because like, I think it's like, this leads out. This is a was there a scabby there? I thought I saw a scabby for a second. I'm just like seeing things, don't mind me. Let's go ahead and bandage up. Well, we got some raw science. And now we're going to try to find one of the other ways. So yeah, we need to uh, head in 
that general direction of where I have marked. Like, oh, it's that way. Okay, but I think I came from that way, didn't I? Yeah, I definitely did, because I see the light. Some more all science, but this also leads out. Okay. Maybe, maybe this was more towards like the. Oh! <laughs> this looks maybe promising. There's just like so many like twists and turns to this place. I was thinking about getting that rock, but no, there's just still dudes on me. Mushroom chunk, okay. Oh, scabby? Oh, there's a bunch of rocks over here too. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, when we have like, maybe like better armor, a bunch of smoothies, I think what I'm gonna do is like come back here just to like get all of the like, um, different um, like marble and, and quartzite and stuff. Cause there is so much in here. Hermits, agents of nature. Accelerating the cycle of oh, rot and tooth. I would like to get you. And the annual sale. Especially since this testing. termite right here is being chill. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> that worked out. Cool. Um, so we'll go back this way. I wish I kind of had a like a way of marking which ways I've gone and which ways I haven't. I don't know if I went all the ways down there. Ooh, and I don't think we can go this way until we can chop those splinters uh, with a tier three axe. The cha chas. All right, I've obviously missed something. Um, so maybe I. Did we go down here? I think we did. Yeah. I think we went there too. There's gotta be a super chip somewhere. Wait a minute, hang on. Is it past these splinters? <clears throat> that would kind of make sense. Oh, okay. I mean, like right now we're facing like north, but um, it is like pretty near there. That might end up being like um, where that super chip is, and I just need to make the axe first. All right, well, we have termite parts now, which I did not have before. So All right, Ooh. So that uh, expedition wasn't quite as long as I was At hoping it would be, um, but yeah, we really need to make that axe because that kind of seems to be like holding us back on a lot of things right now. And again, you know, we needed to put some stuff away too, so I think it's for the best that we came here. All right, so can I make the axe currently or do I need to make some other stuff first? It's like we can go ahead and already make it. We have the exact amount of tough gunk that we need. Oh, thank goodness. All right, thermite axe, heck yeah. This is another thing that I definitely want to upgrade. So we'll make 30 brittle whetstone. And then we'll go back over here and... Hey, cool. Sweet. Um... And then I guess we can... I don't want to like throw away our insect axe. Like I, you know, I doubt I'm gonna like use it anymore, but like it's just, you know, so precious and it served us so well. And like it's got like you know a decent amount of upgrades on it, so I'm just I'm just gonna put it like in just this little chest for safekeeping. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put away a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna have to put away some stuff like manually. You know, at least like the termite things. Um. Okay, that can go there. Um. Termite. 
termite. Hmm, mosquito. Uh, maybe I'll put that there. Antlion. Oh, I should probably keep the antlion stuff on me for uh, armor repairs. Okay. Um, I should probably also make some more arrows since I used up uh, quite a few of them. Let's take that. And... Put some hot cha-chas away. Probably upgrade the uh, stack size of the consumables soon, too. That's definitely starting to fill up this chest quite a bit. Oh, and I meant to grab some uh, some plant fiber for uh, the fiber bandages. All right, we'll definitely have to get that before we go. Hey, all right. But otherwise, our inventory is looking a lot better, so that's good. <laughs> time is it right now? 2.34? You can even make like some fiber bandages like on the road to like on the way back over to the upper yard. So yeah, maybe we'll do that. Let's uh, let's get some sleeps for now. And we'll get some tadpoles in the morning. And some fiber, uh, plant fiber, and then I think we'll be good to go back. I'll also put uh, our new handy dandy axe here in uh, that slot. Ooh, doesn't it look nice? <laughs> I'm excited to uh, put it to use. So I have pupa now. I have uh, splinters. I'm going to go scan said things. So going to eat one of my stuffs here. Okay. Surprisingly not terrible. And I think we'll head back toward uh the wood pile. Alrighty, so we have splinters. <laughs> Splinter arrows. Interesting. I wonder if those have an attribute to them. Hi, Demonic Angel, thank you. For the five month resub and for using your prime gaming on me, you could have used it anywhere. I really appreciate you using it here. How are you, friend? It's good to see you. Give us something good. Pupa leather. And I think pupa leather is going to be used for quite a bit of stuff. We're a little over halfway toward a level 13. Very nice. Okay, so uh, back we go. Or Baron with friends. Yeah, I just like realized I was like, wait a minute, now that we have the axe, we can actually like collect these things. So, yeah, glad that we did. All right, um, let's uh do something. Oh, do this, that. Scary noises, scary noises. Yeah, I wish I like remembered, um, again, like back in uh, the early access days of the game, like in one of these corners or something, there is like um, like a, a backpack like tucked away that you could like get some stuff out of. But I haven't been able to like remember like where that was exactly. Not like under, up here, right? Um, air, I'm really surprised I made that. I thought I like scoured uh, these corners pretty well, or we were here. Just like could not find anything. All right. Oh, and we got a uh, random arrow over here. We'll take that. Sure. Oh, I hate that it's taking up like a whole spot, but 
Let's also At take a sip of water. Ish. And I should probably bring out my crossbow just in case I need it against the mosquitoes. Yep, speaking of mosquitoes, I'm kind of just like tempted to run past them, but like, they're just like a pain in the butt. Oh, I can't even see it. Where'd it go? Oh, oh, and we've got like a spiderling on us too. Oh, I'm glad he, I, we got him before he like hit me one more time. That was almost a Britney song. Here. I need to uh, set up a, a lean to before we go into the descent. So scary. All right. It's time. Um, build, set, respawn. I could sleep right now, but like I also like you know we're we're going into like this descent anyway, and like I don't want to. If we sleep, it's going to like spend a lot of our uh, hydration and and food, which I don't really want. Why does every species of insect need to have an uglier, angrier, more dead older sibling? <laughs> Girl, I'd be careful what you say down here. Oh gosh, there's just so many of them. Ah, I think it was, was it? No, I think it was that way. Maybe? Yes. All right, we're through. Oh, but these guys are on me. Oh. Oh, he's stunned. Come on. Oh, he was stunned. Come here. Come here. Oh. Would help if I had my uh shield on me. Problem is, you just can't like hold the shield and the uh torch at the same time. Okay, so we got those guys out of the way. <sighs> Scientists make this look harder than it is. Um, and I should like definitely go ahead and like repair my poncho because that is like not looking too pretty. I mean, neither are these either, but I think they can hold out for like a little longer. Oh, and I didn't even realize I hadn't put back on my uh, my lucky charm. All right, okay. Ooh, ooh, I see another um dude coming this way. Save. Uh, yeah, the raw. This is the science. <laughs> I'm good. Glad to hear it, demonic angel. How far are you on this? Um, we've definitely made a lot of progress. So, uh, what I was saying earlier was that, um, uh, some of you guys might know that we started up this playthrough of the game when the full release, uh, happens, uh, of Grounded a couple months ago. I think it was, like, beginning of September or something like that. Um, but I had played, like, all throughout the early access of the game. And, um... During the early access, um, the map was like mostly complete, um, except for everything to the right of like this like shed that you're seeing here. So like everything this way is going to be all brand new content. And then um, to the areas that have uh, existed thus far, there's been like scattered like little like tidbits of new content here and there mixed in. Um, so we're, like we're right here and like I, I think apparently there's a bunch of new content like here with like the shed too because like you definitely couldn't go like in the shed before and I'm I'm kind of curious to see if we're going to be able to do that now but first 
Um, just give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. Let's get this guy. So many different mates. Guys, do you see what I see? There, there's a big boy up ahead, guys. I'm trying to get these little boys. We might die. But we do have our, our uh, lean to set up. Oh, oh, there's a big guy coming. Oh. I'm, I'm okay. I'm actually glad that we died when we did. Oh, did you see him? change uh like so i keep the backpack stuff when i dive never mind i found it no worries sorry uh solely that i i was late to seeing your message yeah that's a really nice thing about this game is you can um change it to have a, a you know any settings that you feel comfortable with and the backpack thing is something that i definitely prefer um at least in in single player oh you're tempted to play uh, Pokemon Arceus, but also want to uh, continue to race on, uh, why am I blanking, uh, on, on the acronym? There's actually, like, a termite, like, stuck in the spider web. Well, um, the good thing is a lot of those baby termites should be dead um with us going back to to where we were and this is on should please don't follow me Are they following me So nervous. <laughs> oh, I'm like shaking. Termites chomping its way at us. All right, let's get this little one. Taking a look around, got a new one. The termite king. I don't like him. I don't like him. Um, little guy, if you could just come this way, that'd be great. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I just feel like this is not going to go well. Like I do, I do have like a smoothie with me. Where's the Horizon Ford? Uh, thank you. My brain was just like having a brain fart there. Oh, <laughs> this is why I like watching you play it. Not sure I could see that exact logic. Frog is why I enjoy watching people play horror games because like I hate playing horror games, but I love watching other people play them, so I don't have to. Um. And in a in a way, this is this is like a horror game. <laughs> so with that being said, I don't know why I'm playing it. <laughs> um, but the story and the exploration are so good. Oh, um, let's take a look at th we did scan Termite King. Let's see what it says on him. I like on his card he has like a like a crown. Oh gosh. So he is weak to to salty as well, um, which are uh, are things. 
I also made like those salty arrows. Like I almost wonder if like I should try those out <laughs> so we don't have to be super close to them. Like, look at just that silhouette. He's so big. I know I'm just like saving a lot right now, but <laughs> oh, um. All right, I think like before we go towards this guy, I'm I'm gonna probably do we need like health? We're actually doing okay on um for once. And I do have a heal boss in here if I need it. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink this sticky stuff. You're I'm going in. The termite oh, hi! oh, he's so big! He's so big! Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, okay, all right, okay, okay, stay away, stay away, please, okay, oh, yeah, I don't like you. Oh, 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 that took out so much of my health. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. I should have brought like some stuff where like, oh. oh. <laughs> Dor, thank you so much for the gifted sub again, friend. You were so sweet to gift one earlier to William. Thanks so much for gifting one to Zombie too. I really appreciate you. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> uh, Zombie, welcome to our sub family. I hope that you enjoy your badge, your emotes, special roles in Discord. <laughs> oh, that was a reward for braving the fight. I didn't do too well with the fight, but thank you. Thank you, friend. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was rough. Um, I should have brought, like, some more smoothies to, like, boost my um, health or something. You know what? Something I can definitely do. Um, For one, uh, repair some armor. Oh! <gasps> It needs silk rope, and I forgot to bring the silk rope. I accidentally put it away. Oh my gosh. Oh. I can't believe I did that. Oh. Okay, so it's like one of either two things here. Either I go back to my save that I made a second ago and like hope that my armor holds out. Otherwise, um, what I could do is give up respawn at the kid case which will put us closer and then just like respawn back here since my um since my um my lean to is set up here because I, I don't want to like walk all the way back and walk here again since we've done that like a, a few times now <sighs> um okay so let me like reload this Like, he was taking a good amount of damage with the uh, bow and arrow. Just the problem was, um, he, like, was just getting too close to me, I feel. So, like, I wonder if I had my Salt Morningstar on me and the, and the shield, like, would I be able to, like, rock, rock? What? <laughs> would I be able to block him properly? Well, one thing that we definitely need to do is go here to my status tab. I forgot that I still have this sizzle protection on from the fresh defense, and I really don't need that right now. Um. I mean, if we do decide to continue to go crossbow routes, then, like, the sharpshooter would probably help. Does their gas stuff that they shoot out, like, poison you? I was gonna say maybe, like, the poison resist would, uh, help? Otherwise, this shocking dismissal one... I haven't really put this to the test yet. Or at least not a whole lot. I, like, I had it on when we first got it, but, like, it didn't... I didn't really notice it doing a whole lot. Blocked attacks convert their energy to static electricity, occasionally unleashing a powerful burst. I think I'm going to try it. Save again. It's a 
we're gonna have to get real up close You're and personable him, with you? that dude. The termite king. Yes. Oh. 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 Thought he was about to take. It. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we did block him there. Good. Oh, I didn't uh, drink that smoothie either. I meant to. I don't know how much it's gonna like help us exactly. But just in case. Oh, this is like so much better with the uh, salt morning star. And he's oh, he's stunned. Get him! Get him! Oh, jeez, that hurts. We got him to halfway though, without taking like a s single hit. And now I'm just like taking all the hits. Come on, come on, we're doing well. <gasps> Almost there, almost there. That was so much faster with the uh with the salt morning star. Oh. 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 I, oh. <laughs> I just I feel like I'm shaking right now. Oh. Uh you made that look easy. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Oh. He like he, um I feel like he like you know, um I feel like he wasn't as tough, uh, definitely not as tough as the the assistant manager fight in the Black Ant Hill. Um, but oh gosh, he was just so like big and intimidating and scary. How do you um, pronounce that third word? I know the termite king part, but like this is like his like body. Is it, the termite parts are like the bodies of the other ones. How do you say this one? The harder outer shell of the termite king. We got four of them. I really like wonder if like another guy can like spawn back in here and you can like continuously fight him. Hey, we found the uh wood pile burgle chip. Awesome. Oh. I really want to, you know, take that back to Burgle. Um so we oh, there's a lot of stuff back here. Oh, I'm glad I looked. Um I really want to take this back to Burgle to see what it unlocks, but um, I also want to explore some more of the upper yard uh, first before we do. Oh, very good haul back here. <clears throat> uh, oh, William, you have access to this game because of Game Pass? Definitely recommend Grounded. Like, it can be absolutely terrifying at times. Um, but it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> and thank you guys all for the GGs. Much appreciated. Oh, yeah, that was rough. Why don't I go ahead and save, too, since we did kill him? That would be an important thing to do. And you know what? Like, I am over here, like, saying, like, you know, maybe... Oh, wow, look at all this stuff. Um, oh, this is a uh, tier 3 one. I can't get that yet. Never mind. Um, I was over here saying I would like to go, like, further into the, um, upper yard and, like, see about, like, the, um, the, the deck of, like, the shed, but, yeah, the problem is, like, I completely, like, blanked on bringing, um, the web fiber, so, yeah, maybe, like, we should go back for that reason. Ah, uh, and our inventory's full again. <laughs> and we do have, like pupa hide now so we can make like pupa leather back home I feel like kind of all roads are leading to us like going back there sorry for back all the back and forth friends but who I'd say that was uh pretty successful so let's uh try to get the heck out of here without getting killed Uh, I think it's this way. I think. Just 
looks right, I believe. I wonder what I'll use splitters, because I only have like four of those right now. I kind of wonder if I should gather up some more before we go. Um, Splinter. Splinter arrows and then something else we don't know right now. Okay, so I'm not super bothered about like gathering up a, a bunch of them at the moment. All right, here we are. I guess I could have gone out like one of the like other holes, like lower down. Oh, big spider. Let's divert our course a little bit. I'm surprised he don't, did not see me. Pleasantly surprised. Oh, yeah, there's another one, like, stuck right there. Oh, big scary boy, big scary boy. Let's also eat uh, mm. that roast that we have. Good. Oh, I didn't put on my dandelion, did I? Always forget to do that. <laughs> so does this lead over here? I think it does, right? Oh, not quite. I was thinking that this connected to there. I don't think like over here does, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so we would kind of need to like go like another way anyway. Probably like where that uh, bicycle is. All right, I'll, um, let me put on our dandelion tuft. And we'll jump. And then I'll put this back on. Yeah. I'm trying to just like hug this wall as much as possible so we can avoid the... The, like the gulch. Mm, <laughs> zombie, that sounds like something bad. <laughs> Maybe like, like car carapace. Hopefully. <laughs> And yeah, we can we can do another save too. Cool. Now that we've made it out of the uh the wood pile. I'm just so glad that we got that guy. I was really worried that I was gonna have to like go back and um repair our armor like before we did. So I'm I'm glad that um we we didn't have to do that. And that way we can get some more food and some more water and all that stuff. Speaking of water, um, that's not so bad. Let's do that. Here we go. Alrighty. And um, should have just left that equipped since we need to jump down. All right, let's kind of go where we uh, went last time to jump down. I think kind of in that direction. Hi, Roly Poly. Very precious. I don't know if I've heard them like make that sound uh, before. <laughs> so it is kind of like like carapace or carapace. Uh, I've been saying it wrong at least once a year. Like I I couldn't tell you like. Um, any time of year that like I've ever used that word so so GG <laughs> I couldn't even tell you like the definition of it is it like just like a like a a, 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 a an abdomen a body um like a, a carcass 
I have no idea. Ooh, while we're up here, I'm glad that our uh, scabby scanner went off. Forgot that uh, there might be one on top of here. Yes, there is. Frankenline. I guess that's a very fitting name for the scabby, considering it was found on top of the Frankenline. I think we're going the right way, right? Yeah, just need to follow this around. Not a word I say often. I would imagine not. It's the hard upper shell of a turtle, crustacean, or arachnid, interesting. Or I guess in this case, a termite. It's also a synonym for exoskeleton, interesting. Thanks for the info. I wasn't super familiar with the word. It's one of those where like, I think I've heard it before, but like, I couldn't have told you like what it meant or how to pronounce it properly, any of that stuff. Leave me alone! I'm just trying to get home, you stinky mosquitoes! Oh, you and I had the same idea? Thanks for looking out for me, friends. <laughs> and glory is mine for the next one minute. Yeah, yeah, you re you really got them, zombie. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it kind of sounds like an exoskeleton for sure. Really um, excited to be able to scan it, which we will do when we go uh, see Burkle here in a moment. I normally don't come from this way, so I'm just trying to figure out like where he is, like amongst the uh, branches. I think he might be like just over this one. If I can get over this one. There we go. Alrighty. I'm uh, excited to see what we're going to unlock from that uh, burgle chip that we just got. I think we've got all of the burgle chips up to this point. Hopefully so. Yeah, none over here, none in the sandbox, picnic table. I think we've gotten all of the burgle chips up to this point. Because some of them are, you know, um, like lab chips, which are like mandatory to the story, but like other ones are like you just can find. Um, I, I, I don't think they're mandatory. Although like some of the ingredients um, or like the blueprints that you get from them, like feel like it a bit. It is nice to see a friendly face around here. How can I help you today? We found an auxiliary chip. Ah. Four thousand raw science from that one. Hand it over and let us see what I can remember. Wow. Mm, much better. Check the ASL terminals of science shop for the new recipes. Okay. I will see you soon, Willow Branch. I hope. <laughs> that was a little ominous. Hi, Virgil. All right. So what did we unlock? We have over fourteen thousand raw science. Um, so, let me just scroll to the bottom. Sign set, cookbook. Maybe I should, like, unlock these cookbook ones. Candy staves, what? Oh, this is definitely new. A mint staff? A wizard hat? Oh, guys, these are brand new things. These have never been in the game before. I wonder, like, how these, like, these staff, um, weapons work. A staff made of ice caps, fresh mints, crafted by forbidden chemistry and arcane science, mimics the effects of a magic spell found in a, found in minotaurs and myrmidons? It looks like it needs, like, a pine cone. I've never found that before. I, mm. really I kind of want to unlock it though for like when we um, 
do have those items, and same with the wizard hat too. The perfect hat to wear when pretending to be a magic slinging wizard. What do you mean pretending, game? Oh, this uh, I think uses the uh, the termite king stuff. We could maybe make this. I might just need some more like blueberry leather, like maybe or berry leather. Excuse me. Gives you gives you wizard's defense. That's really exciting to me. Okay. All right. We still have 9,200 uh, raw science if I want to spend it. I'm tempted to get the cookbooks, but those are like pretty spendy too. Oh, um, yeah, let's just like go with those for now, I think those two things and we can also upgrade our max health now too Ready. so loud <laughs> all right cool sweet thank you burgle and let's uh scan the carapace that we got no new recipes deciphered Ooh, did you see how many points that we just got there? Oh, we're so close to level 13. Nice. I wonder if like you can only make the wizard's hat out of that stuff. Termite armor or, um, oh, I need to click over to it. Or the wizard's hat. I, I don't think I'm gonna make the termite armor. has dust guard, but I'm I'm not really worried about dust. Um I still don't know how to make lint rope either. Ooh. Have I not made like a machine that can make that? I was thinking maybe you could make it on like the spinning wheel here. But let me take a look. Um, smoothie, dew collector, spinning wheel, oven, made the glue masher, spike strip. That doesn't look like it. Oh, in the pet house. Oh, I really need to make that. Oh, we just need some wheat stems, which I might have uh, outside. Yeah, I do. Ooh. So with the pet house, I feel like a little conflicted. I feel like it looks like an outdoor like dog house. But I just kind of want to have our our little um like weevil, I think, um sleep like indoors with us. <laughs> Would it be weird to have this inside? I don't know if I want him sleeping out in the cold. Also, hi, Baz. Welcome in. Thanks for the biddies. It's uh, your odd week this week. Finished work um, at 6 a.m. this morning. Oh, man, that sounds like a graveyard shift type deal. <laughs> Happy now you have KFC. I hope that you're enjoying your chickens. <laughs> I guess we could have, like, um, multiple... I, well, I was going to say, I guess you could have multiple pets. I actually don't know if the game lets you have multiple pets. You just have it just like sleeping over here like next to us maybe possibly just trying to have it where it like didn't clip through but i think that's a little more forward than i wanted it <clears throat> yeah i think that's probably good okay so the weed stems acorn shell mushroom brick and crow feather i think i have all of that Probably gonna forget half of it, but yeah. 
See, your base makes me question my baseball base. When you say baseball base, did you like build like on top of the baseball or? There we go. We've got our little pet house. We don't have a pet quite yet, but no pet lives here yet. Tip, share special treats with wild bugs for a chance to befriend them. We will. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> You had it four stories tall. My goodness, zombie. Um, we're walking above the grass. I bet. Uh, climb up the stick and uh, build uh, around the baseball and then up. Oh, I would love to see that sometime. We uh, do have a... Uh, anybody who's interested in our Discord server, we do have a grounded channel in there. Or Technically, we don't have a grounded channel. We have a grounded forum um, because people are... Um, our uh like gaming uh conversations in the new forum style uh, just to help with cleanliness of the server and that kind of thing um but we'd love to see like some some of you guys bases in there all right so um what else i got like so distracted by the pet house hey mods for thank you thank you for the two months to quote one obi wan kenobi hello there <laughs> I do you too, Mods for is that is that what he said? Was that his famous quote? <laughs> Welcome in. I hope you're having a great day. Guys, can we get some hype some hype in chat for Mods for and thanks for using your prime gaming, which you could have used anywhere. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. We actually can make the mint mace now. Ooh. It would use up um kind of my tough gunk. So I just kinda wanna see if I need to use that tough gung for anything else first. Still still surprised we don't have that tier three hammer yet. I kind of wonder if we would need to kill like a, a roly poly or one of those um, black ox beetles beforehand, because I think those are like some of the only enemies we've come across at this point that like I haven't actually killed. Oh, guys, look at the staffs. I, like, we unlocked them, but I hadn't actually looked at them yet. Oh. Those look amazing. What are, like, the um, damage on them compared to, like, this stuff? All right. Um, so it's higher damage than Salt Morningstar. Um, but not as quite... I have a damage, ooh, excuse me, <clears throat> as the mint mace. Okay, interesting. But, like, they seem pretty well balanced. Um, like, they've got, like, very good speed on them. They've, they've got pretty good damage. Um, that sour staff looks amazing with that stun power on it uh, that you can't see because I'm actually covering it up. Um... Maybe I should, I was about to say, maybe I should, like, switch the other side. It seems like in this game, no matter, like, what side I'm on, I, like, end up covering something up, which is unfortunate. <laughs> um, but yeah, pine cone piece. I, I've never seen pine cone piece. I've never seen, like, sour candy. Um, and I don't think we've come across pond moss either. Wow. Well, that'll be exciting. So yeah, the Everchar Torch still needs Lint Rope, which I haven't gotten. Same with the Green Shield Bugs. What about the Canteen? I know that was another thing that I was, in, that I was interested in. Oh, that also uses Lint Rope? Oh. So yeah, I definitely need to try like killing some of those other enemies. I didn't realize we could make so many uh, heal bosses now. Let's like make all of those. Okay. Oh, and um, I just saw that we used some web fiber um, or some silk rope to make that. Let's also use the silk rope to actually repair my armor at this point because it really needs it. <laughs> oh, um, all right. Let's look in our data tab at uh, some enemies. So I still have not killed any roly polies. They are weak to spicy 
were our hammer. Oh, that's actually just for the sickly one. The regular roly poly is actually weak to um, the salty or fresh. So I could use um, this salt morning star or the mint mace. Weak point is the legs. <sighs> we might have to do that soon or try to do that. As for the black ox beetle, uh, they are also weak to salty. Okay. Really feel like I should try to like fill those two things because I haven't gotten their parts before. There's only one more buggy here in the in the harmless one. Oh, and same for the neutral too. Made so much progress with this game. What am I missing in this slot here? That looks like it was something earlier on. Is it something infected maybe? Hmm. Wait, no, don't kill the roly-poly. I don't want to, but I think we can get some good stuff from it. All right, we have made it back up here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, start by going over to my lean-to and setting that as my respawn point. I think we might go for the roly-poly first. It's going to actually be back that way. Um might move the lean to a little bit. Man. Where it's like up on that uh, hill up there. I think we're going to try to get the roly poly first. Make it up here. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll go for the uh, black ox beetle. I don't know how well it's going to go with either of them. I'm pretty nervous, but yeah. Okay. Um, so let me just remind myself with the roly poly. It is weak at the legs. And it's weak to hammer, fresh or salty. It's pretty much weak to a lot of things. So my hammer damage only goes to the third um, bar. Look at the damage on that mint mace. That is nice. <laughs> that is like almost completely filled up. It, it's the the caveat with it is it's it's very slow. Um, but I I feel like I can make an exception. <laughs> Because that just, like, looks just too good. Okay. All right. Let's go over here and see if we can find a roly-poly. <laughs> yeah, the stun on the, uh, on the, um, Don't let the name fool Salt Morning Star is really nice, too. Is she's right. It is. Save. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Oh, um, can't wait for 1.1 update when we can, oh, is it going to add it where we can go up the zip lines? Oh, wow. That'll be interesting. Um, I know that they're adding in like uh, more, uh, backpack space and more spots in the toolbar. I, and I was really excited for both of those. That tastes Surprisingly not terrible. Ooh, here's another caveat about the um about the mint mace. It's a two-handed weapon. So I can't hold my shield with it. Whereas with the Salt Morning Star, I can. Ooh. I think we try the mint mace first. And, like, if I feel like I, you know, I just need to be blocking more, Don't let um, the name fool you. That roly -poly's vicious. you know, we'll, we'll switch, maybe even reload our, our save. Hi, roly-poly! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! This is already going great! Oh, jeez! Do you see the amount of damage that we're putting on it, though? With, like, just, like, one hit? Goodness. Oh, it's regening health. 
Oh, get it. Come on. Oh, well, that went well. <laughs> he just, like, walks away. <laughs> oh. Alright, um. I, I want to try that again now, but with the Salt Morning Star. Um. We're definitely going to have to do, like, more hits on it, of course. But, um. I wonder if if my blocking would help with it. It's just like so big. It's like, will my little shield even be enough to like block its attacks? It was like like bouncing on us almost. Right, right. Yeah, they changed out uh, what used to be the mint mallet for the mint mace now. And like, I kind of get it because like mint mallet kind of suggests that it's going to be like a like a hammer, and maybe that was their original intention with it. Um, so I definitely understand, um, the, the change. That is surprisingly not terrible. All right, so we're gonna put on that. We're gonna put on this. Let's see how this goes this time. Hi, roly-poly. Ooh, okay, all right. That block didn't go well. Oh, oh, that one did. That one did. Oh, that's the shock. I was wondering what that uh that status effect that we had was. That's Oh, he's he's stuck. Oh, he was. Oh, oh, okay. We're blocking. This is good. Yeah, I just like the the attack on that mint mace was really nice, but like I just I just, I missed my blocking too much. It just didn't block very well there. <sighs> I know we, like, can respawn, like, pretty close to it, but, like, for the sake of our armor, since we, like, saved right beforehand, I might just, like, um, reload. But we did, like, a lot better there, that's for sure. Alright, I'm gonna eat. Let me like save again so I don't have to um keep eating if we you know need to reload. Alright, cool, cool. Surprisingly not terrible. So, uh this and that. Let's try this again. Trying to get the legs as much as possible. You definitely can block with your shield. It just, uh... Just, like, pushes you back a good bit. Come on, come on. Ooh. Doing okay, though. For now. Oh, yeah, just, like, sometimes, like, he just, like, ends up on his back. The problem there was, like, I was out of stamina. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, but he's so close. He's so close. Did it. We got um, five roly-poly parts and two roly-poly shells. Oh, it seems like it dropped a lot of stuff. Oh, that's exciting, guys. Heck yeah. Oh, oh cool. Sweet. So I, I really want to um, scan those uh, roly-poly parts. Also, um, Check out the black ox beetle that's over in this direction, so we can kind of uh, kill two birds with one stone. <laughs>